To help you take care of your horses, we present Vet Tips, featuring the veterinarians of Alamo Pintado Equine Medical Center in Los Olivos, California. This week's Vet Tip was from Equestrian Nation's preceding series, Horse World, and features Alamo Pintado's founder, Dr. Doug Herthel. When you think of a horse, they, they didn't grow up in stalls. They didn't uh, evolve in a stall. They evolved outside, running, grazing, foraging. And uh, so really when we put a horse in the stall, they, they, they develop uh, certain quirks. And not all horses, but some of them do. And, and the reason is two. One is boredom is very commonly part of it, especially if it's a very enclosed stall, very dark, no activity, no other horses to see. So. Uh, what we like to, you know, see is if we've got a horse that's potentially starting to develop a vice, which is a repetitive movement. You like to avoid that because not only are they uh, objectionable to watch, but it's not good for their health. They don't, they don't uh, eat as well. They don't uh, perform as well, and, and sometimes their body condition goes down. You've got uh, you've got oral vices, such as the uh, wood chewing and the cribbing. And uh, a lot of times if you just get more exercise into them, maybe the possibility where they can socialize with other horses or see other horses, uh, add more scabrous material to their diet so they, they're eating all day instead of just a couple hours a day. Because they're used to grazing off and on 24 hours a day and that's not happening anymore. Some horses develop cribbing or wood chewing, uh, dirt eating due to uh, deficiency of minerals. And so they're trying to gain minerals. Normally out in the wild, they would be able to access minerals at will. Uh, in a stall confinement, they don't have that access. So some of them is out of uh, deficiencies. And, uh, and then some is combination boredom deficiency. And some of them are getting too much energy. So they have too much sugar load. And so they're bored and they got lots of sugar in their bloodstream. And so they start developing these vices that way.